mark, Hampshire Derby victory, five unbeaten, you must be happy with today's performance. Yeah, I'm, I'm ecstatic as a manager, um, it's a great, there's no, there's no greater feeling to be celebrating with your fans after a great away win and uh, I think there was as much energy on the pitch as there was off the pitch today and uh, certainly pushed us on. You could see the lads giving everything for the shirt again and uh, probably running out of things to say about them at the moment um, because, you know, we've, we've been up against it. The injury list is ridiculously long with a lot of key players, vital players out at the moment. We, we, we're filming, f fielding the, probably the youngest team in the, in the league and where we didn't quite get the results that we wanted early on. Um, people could have been forgiven for thinking the worst because we had to show resilience and character and sometimes the older, more experienced players give you that because they've been been in the trenches a little bit longer. But what this young group have done is uh, they've developed character. They've sh really shown hard work, endeavour, togetherness, and they've really shown the characteristics beyond their years. And I think that's what's the most pleasing fact. And uh, we keep challenging them, we keep pushing them, and to go five unbeaten in this league is uh, is some is you know some takes some doing. Of course, one change made from Altrincham. Kins comes back in for Brad Webb and also Scotty Wagstaff back on the bench. Yeah, it's great to welcome a player back. You know, Scott, we've, we, we've missed him. It's great to have have him in. You know, what, what a good player and what a good experienced pro he is to help this young group. And um, yeah, we've certainly missed him. We've got quite a few to come back yet. And, um, you know, hopefully more good news will follow in the coming weeks and maybe even month that, um, you know, a few more will be joining us. And then the, the, the young players are throwing down a marker at the moment, though. So competition for places is always a always a healthy thing. Looking back at the game, obviously the first half, quite an even affair, you know, not too many chances for either side, but that second half, we really did come out like a different team. What was, what was said at half-time? I think that we sort of nullified them. I think when you, it has been an emphasis of making sure we're in the game. Um, we have shown a lot of out of possession, resilience at the moment, which is really pleasing. And you, you have to show that, especially coming away to, you know, a good side like Eastleigh. You could see their, their lineups full of experience, quality. So we've got to make sure that we nullify them, which I felt we did. But I felt we could have shown a little bit more ourselves as well. And I think that, that was the emphasis at half time to try and be better in transition. You know, we're doing some good defensive work, but can we, can we, can we counter with a little bit more uh, vigour? And I think we've certainly done that. I think the, the changes um, were positive. I think they made a big difference, uh, you know, to keep the energy high and, um, you know, all, all had good involvements in the game. So, um, yeah, obviously we're, we're delighted. Of course, obviously, Corey Andrews, two goals for him today. It's great to see him back on the score sheet. Yeah, and he deserves his two goals. There's a lot of unseen work. He's up sometimes up there alone. He does a lot of hard work for the team, which doesn't always get noted or seen. And um, those goals were built on on what he's, how hard he's been working lately. And he's he's been a really unselfish player playing at the moment um, the way we play and what we ask him to do and um, now you know the icing on the cake for him will always be goals and um, I'm, I'm glad he's got them because he, he deserves them. Another one for Kins as well it just seems like he can't stop scoring at the minute. Yeah yeah another look he's got great technique we worked the ball in some very good areas in the second half we caused a lot of problems got free kicks fouls counted well created chances and uh, you know that one right in the corner of the box as well is always going to be dangerous if he could get uh, you know he hit, well, he hit it perfectly and it was always going to cause a problem on a, on a slick, uh, you know, it's a great pitch out there, but, you know, a slicky surface like that, he, he, he hit the perfect ball. Of course, cherry on top of clean sheets top off the day as well. Yeah, and you always want to see that through. Um, like I said, that breeds more confidence. But, um, yeah, the, the, the character and the resilience that they're showing at the moment is, is the most pleasing thing. Um, you can see that we're starting to grow as a group and... Um, yeah, we um, we'll dust ourselves down and then we turn our attention to um, you know the next game, which is next Saturday, a big a big game, uh, Kingstonian, a team we've got huge respect for. They've uh, you know they're probably one of the best teams outside the conference. They play some great football, and we're gonna it's gonna be a, a conference game. No, make no bone about it. They um, they keep the ball very well, so we're gonna have to be really organised in our out of possession. We might have to need you know the fans to keep pushing us and driving us and. And, and, and expect that there's a very good team coming down to play us and um, we're going to have to be right on it and uh, it's a competition we want to, we really want to make our mark in. Of course, before we look ahead to the FA Trophy, just a note on the fans today and the atmosphere and the away fans were brilliant today. Yeah, they were, they were superb. I think you could see the energy off the pitch transfer onto, onto the pitch and we finished really strongly. Um, and I always say it together, we're, we're stronger. Um, there's no better feeling than celebrating with your fans like that at the end of, at the end of a game. And um, yeah, uh, they, they travelled in their numbers. It's... You know, rained <laughs> all day, and uh, but I'm sure they've gone home happy, and they've seen a team really giving everything for the shirt. Um, you know, we win together, we lose together. We know there's been some ups and downs, but you know, we've they've stayed with us, and um, I always thank them for that. And um, you know, 
the, like I said, like I said the, uh, the lads certainly enjoyed being pushed on. Um, and the, the energy around the changing room at the moment, the energy around the place when we get into, that, that, I don't think they can underestimate what, what an impact it has on us. Of course, you mentioned Kingston already, but obviously a change of competition, cup competition. What's your thoughts ahead of it? No, same, same game treat as every other game. Give it our maximum attention. Keep looking to improve and get better in training. I keep saying the same things every week, but that's what it is. And especially with a young group, like, you know, there should be no, no ceiling here. It's, you know, the job never changes no matter what. Um, but what you probably have seen lately is probably the fruits of the work that they've put in from day one. Not the lot, you know, yes, we've had some good results and positive results of late, but they haven't gone short since day one. Um, they want to be pushed. They want to get better. It's a great group to work with. And um, they're probably seeing some positivity from all the hard work they've shown since we've come in. Um, sometimes you don't always see the fruits straight away, but uh, I feel that the foundations are always getting in. And um, to get some victories that what they've shown lately um, under such tough circumstances and missing so many players just shows that you know the, the hard work wasn't in vain. Just a note on the injuries obviously Gubbins has come off is it just wait and see how he is after the game? Yeah he's got a hamstring strain you know we'd have to see, assess that to see the extent of it but yeah re really disappointing um, you know we're delighted to get him into the, into the, into the club he's a quality player um, but again, yeah, no, another injury was the only sour note from today, and it is a sour note because um, you know he was really settling into the team. I think he brought a lot to the team, and with so many defenders out at the moment as well, um, you know he was a real welcome addition. But look, we wish him well. He's at a great football club. I'm sure they'll look after him and get him back as quick as he can, and we can certainly look to revisit it because uh, you know quality players like that are hard to come by. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.